back to the show, everybody. <laughs> Folks, my first guest tonight is the host of Sunday Today and co-host of Morning Joe. Please welcome to The Late Show, Willie Geist. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Willie Geist. Please have a seat. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your show. Um, uh, have I interviewed before? Have no, you been here I've before? never been on this show. This but we is my... see each other we see fairly each... frequently. We see each other in the wings of New York City events, galas, award shows, benefits. Things, benefits. Because you and I are like going that. on stage to, like, say, and the winner is, exactly. or to raise money or awareness for well, something. I think the last time I saw you was a couple of months ago at the National Board of Review, which is a big movie award show, and sure. you were presenting Lady Gaga yeah. with the Best Actress Award. Fantastic. I was hosting, and that tells you about the show business hierarchy. I was hosting, <laughs> and you were presenting, and that's okay. That's okay. Fine. <laughs> I'm and, not sure uh, how that hierarchy goes. <laughs> is that who's the hierarchy? host? I mean, oh, the host. host. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, mind. yeah. So, did you have your photo taken with Lady Gaga backstage, and she, she, did she kiss you I on the cheek? She didn't. I mean, <laughs> didn't even see that. And you had to be there. You had to be there all <laughs> night, and I get to come in and leave with a cocktail. Okay, that's event. a veteran showbiz move. But the thing, the difference, the thing is between <laughs> this and that. Even though we've seen each other times, yeah. is those. It's always like. Hey man, how are you doing? Right, Good right. Good to see you. Right. How, is it running long? Yeah. What's going on? It's a whisper. It's a whisper. Yeah. But what you did, you went up on stage to present Lady Gaga with the award, and while you were presenting the award, you kept calling her Stephanie, which is Lady Gaga's real name, and I went, right. "Wow, they're old friends." You know, like they <laughs> famous people really know each other. Right, yeah. So Stephanie, 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 and then you stopped yourself in the middle of the presentation and you said, "You know, um, I don't know Lady Gaga. I met her once." But people who know her seem to call her Stephanie, and I want you to think that I know her, so I'm going to continue to call her Stephanie, but I don't know her. That's true. And then you gave her the award. You know what? You know who yeah. liked that? Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> she loved it. She loved it. Like this. Like that. Steven wins again. I'll say yeah. something I admire about you. You do, you, do, you do several TV shows. You interview people all the time. You never use cards. You never have, like, a, you do, like, long interviews. 45 minutes, no cards. What is, what is the deal? Well, so for my Sunday Today show, like, two hours ago, I interviewed yeah. Brie Larson, who's got the Captain Marvel movie coming out. Oh, wow, really? And I like to, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I haven't, uh... I haven't heard much about that movie. Is it really? Is it a big one? <laughs> yeah, it's coming out this yeah, okay, weekend. Great. You should look into it. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I try to do all the research I can do. Mm -hmm. And so I try to take the artifice out of it and make it conversational. So I feel like sometimes when someone's sitting across from a person, they've got a bunch of notes in front of them. Yeah. It feels more like an it's interrogation important. or a cross-examination. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. No, Rather than a conversation. No problem there. Look at that. Boom. Don't need them. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I, I, Right what there. is your? Here's the thing: is that I really enjoy. As I, I've said to the audience before, actually before the show began, they said, "What? Like, who do you enjoy interviewing?" I said, "I'm grateful for anybody who will come talk to this idiot." <laughs> but sometimes I do space out sometimes a little bit, and yeah. I'm like, "Oh my God, what is? Yeah. What should I ask them next? What's your go-to when you're like, I'm totally stuck?" What right, you when you fall out a little bit, you fall you out a little bit, and out. you realize they're, the rhythm of their speech means they're about to stop talking, <laughs> <laughs> and you should say something. I soon? know the terror of that moment. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so sure. Hoda Kotb, the Today Show host, and I have sure. a long-running joke where it's a blanket question of, what a year. <laughs> Actually, that that's, is, that's not his question that, at all, is that it? That is not. That is, ter that is a terrible question. <laughs> because huh. by virtue of your being here, I'm going to assume it's been a great year yeah. because you've probably got a book or a movie or a TV show. And yeah. What a year. Mm -hmm. And hopefully... I have a similar one. Mine is, yours? how do you live with yourself? <laughs> Are you asking me? No, oh, no, no, okay. that's, okay. I'm listening to you. I'm yeah, listening yeah. to you right now. What a year, what a year. Um, uh, uh, you saw this morning, you saw Gail uh, speak to R. Kelly? Did I? What'd you think? What'd you think about that? First that was pretty of all, impressive. all hail Gail, right? Yeah. Gail King. Nicely done. Yeah. How would you, would you, would you have handled that any differently? Interviews like that are why I, I, I carry a small taser with me <laughs> at all times. Because sure. as a, you, sure. sometimes you've got to just get up and, I understand. and neutralize the yeah, threat sure. a little bit. Oh, yeah, I got one, got but one right I down here. But I thought you taped case. under the desk. Already. Because when he stood up and started screaming, 
And there's a photograph that I think will become iconic where he's screaming like this and Gail's just going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, she's Let me know like when a graven face. image. Like she's that, amazing. It doesn't affect her at all. She's incredible. Um, I, wanna, <laughs> I want to question a decision you made recently. Ooh, boy. Okay. Yeah. And th this decision is that I understand that last year you accepted an award, Father of the Year, from the National Father's Day Council. Why would you tempt the gods <laughs> by saying you were Father of the Year? Your wife let you take Father of the Year? Well, let's be clear. I deserved it, okay? <laughs> really? I mean... Because that's dangerous. That's so dangerous. Yeah. Father of the Year. Well, over it's an here. objective measure. They study it, they look at all the data of it's all science. the dads, and it's science. It's science. Who am I to argue with science? Right. So they come out, and I'm number one. And Do you I get a mug or award. anything that says yeah. Father number of the Year? Dad. Dad. That's very yeah, nice. Yeah, it's very it's nice. It's Are, like there the Are there any responsibilities? Are there any responsibilities? Well, I think my year? wife would, uh, she'd say I'm a good dad, but not the best dad, because not all that long ago, we have two children. She was going away on a girls' weekend to Las Vegas. And uh, as she left, she had her bags out the door, and I yelled at her. I said, wait, before you go, what do they eat? <laughs> and, she, and she said, to her great credit, they're not exotic birds. <laughs> they're your children. Figure it out. So I said, I'm going to do a big dad's day out in New York City. So we started at the petting zoo in Central Park. Come on. Great start. Yeah. Great start. Then we go How over... How old are the children now? Uh, well, now they're 11 and 9. But in These this are a few time, years story, ago. Okay, yeah. yeah, so they're younger, much younger then. And then we go to Lucky Strike Lanes, 42nd and the West Side Highway. Sure. So what we're doing over at the Lucky Strike Lanes after the petting zoo is we're putting our hands in some bowling balls, then we're getting into the chicken fingers and the, and the mozzarella sticks. Sure. We're spreading it around. You've rubbed the goats. Yes, rub the goats, then ball, ball chicken and then, then like we're in this. here. Yeah. And then I said, you know what, let's hit the trifecta and go to the Dave & Buster's in Times Square. Wow. Where tourists from all over the world bring their germs to the ball pit and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we took them. We had a great time. I was a big hero. I'm at work the next morning after my wife gets home, and I get a text. She said, hey, what did you do with the kids yesterday? I said, uh, we just went out and had a good time. Why? She said, because in the middle of the night, it was a crime scene. The kids puking everywhere. Mm. And I said, well, not much. I mean, we went to a petting zoo, went to a bowling alley in the Dave & Buster's in Times Square and I left you to deal with it while I'm at work. So I think she voted nay on the father of the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, of course, everybody also knows you from, uh, from uh, the, the, the Coffee Joe Morning. Everybody. And the Morning, morning, and the morning yeah. Zoo Coffee Crew. Morning. Yeah, Coffee Joe yeah. Morning. And <laughs> I have a question, is that uh, why, often Joe's not there. He's someplace else, okay? And it'll be uh, you and Mika. And why isn't it M Morning Willie? Why isn't that the name of the show? I think... Yeah. That's something you can relate to. Yeah. Yeah. We focus grouped it. We focus... It didn't test well. Did not test well. No. <laughs> Morning Joe... Willie has other implications. It sure does. Yeah. It sure does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're lucky. Um, <laughs> we we got to go here in a minute, but I just... Before we go, I just... I got to ask you one last question. Sure. What a year. <laughs> Covers a lot of ground, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Willie, Thanks, so wonderful to see, to see you. See you. Sunday today airs Sunday mornings on NBC. Willie Geist, everybody. Morning, Willie. We'll be right back with Phoebe.